Okay, so once you get the windows together, right, I mean the, the ropes hung again, then you want to think about what type of weather stripping you're going to use. And you're going to weather strip the windows basically as you put them back together again. And uh, again, like I said, on the top window, there's four places where you have to weather strip. You have to weather strip both sides up against the leg jam. You have to weather strip the top. And you have to weather strip the meeting rail. Now, there's a variety of ways you can do the meeting rail. Some people don't like to look at that bulb inside their house. And if you want, you can weather, weather strip the meeting rail on the bottom window on the outside so you're not looking at it from the inside. So that can be done either way. This is the siliconized bulb weather stripping that you can do the bottom, the meeting rail, and the top with. Okay? This is really good stuff. They, uh, they make other weather strippings that are vinyl. But the vinyl weather strippings tend to get cold, they get cold with the weather hot and cold and they crack. But if you can feel that, it feels like a siliconized bulb. Mm. That's beautiful. That'll last over the years. That's a great weather stripping as opposed to vinyl. And what you would do on the top of the top window is you, would, you could cut a kerf. I usually just use a table saw. I got a router table I use sometimes. Uh, if you don't feel like you want to have to cut a kerf, you, they make this material here, which basically is the same as this, only there's a flat end of it. And when you put, peel off the adhesive, you put that across and you can just, in this case where it's on the top window, you don't even need to staple it. You just put it on. Or you can cut a kerf. And when you cut a kerf, then this little regular part here goes right into the kerf, like this. And you come to the other end and then you just cut it. All right? And that takes care of the top of the top window. Now, the top weather stripping on the sides, there, there's several kinds of weather stripping you can use. And we'll go over that now. Um, there's a cushion bronze, which is a material that, uh, and I'll bring out the spring bronze at the same time so I can demonstrate the difference between the two of them. All right. There's the cushion bronze weather stripping. And you can see that's like a leaf construction. So when you put that in, the window rides up against that and it puts enough pressure against the windows that it slides up and it's, it's snug, but it's, it's going up and down easily enough. This is spring bronze. This, got, this is slightly different. This is, you attach this, you attach that with staples or with the little bronze nails, which is what you're supposed to do, punch a bunch of little holes and do it with the bronze nails. Um, and then there is one advantage to this in the sense that if it flattens out over the years, you can go across that score line with a blunt object, you know, like a really dull screwdriver or something, okay? And that'll make it spring out again and make contact with the window. You don't have to do that with this. This will stay that way forever. You'll always have that contact with the window. So in my opinion, this is a far superior weather strip into this. This is made for the top. It's, it's only a half inch. And the reason it's made that way is because it goes right by the pulley. So you can put this in without having to cut or anything around the pulley. If you're going to use staples, you should use a solid steel um, with, um, with, with the bronze weather stripping so it doesn't discolor. And those go for about 115 bucks a box. But, you know, that's such that you should be using if you, if you were going to do that. And that would come up in here. Now, they make another weather stripping that does the same thing as that and goes right by. And it's a, it's a polyflex weather stripping. And you can see it has that little v-shaped built-in thing there and the way this operates is you just want the v-shape to face out like that so when you put it in that fits right into the corner like that and again you go by the pulley without having to cut around the pulley that's and if you really wanted to weather something really good you could put the bronze the corner bronze in here and you can put this corner bead flex up against the stop itself and you, it'll be double weather strip. If you're going to weather strip, say for instance, with the Polyflex, okay, on the back, which is what I'm gonna, that, that's what I'm gonna do now. I've already shown you how to put the other stuff in if you wanna use that, but I'm gonna use this. And basically, um, when you go to fasten the window again, 
you want to use a screw through the chain that's what I use anyways to make sure that it never comes out and you never have a situation where you have to turn around and you know take the window apart again I usually use like a one inch screw that, that'll get a, plenty of meat when you put a screw into a window the one thing you want to keep keep in mind all right is as you're screwing it in you want to make sure that you're angled up a little and that you're angled out to come in here a little bit because if you go to the glass and you're screwing it in you hear that crack now you got a piece of broken glass you got to take the window out and replace, replace the glass you want to avoid that of course there's one side and of course once you put the chain secure the chain on you can just take this out and then you just secure the other side So if you were going to use the polyflex, all right, we'll just grab a new piece of polyflex for this. Um, you can see again, there's the white strip on the back of it. That's what you peel off, okay? On the polyflex, when you get, the, you take your top window, you go all the way down, right, to the bottom. Then you turn around and you just measure it from there to there. You want to come all the way down to here so that the window never goes down far enough where it can catch the weather strip and then pull it off so the window can never get that the top of that window will never get down here okay and that's where you pinch it off and you double it up like that and then you take a pair of red scissors cut it like that and like that and you have two pieces one for each side and you peel the the white stuff that comes off You'll notice with this weather strip, and if you buy it, bring it home, keep it in the house. If you leave it outside, it gets cold. The glue tends to wear out and stuff like that. And then you can just turn around and weather strip from here to there like that. Now, you could put staples in there. Okay, I've been putting it on for years. and I, when I, On the top window, I never put staples in, and I've never had a problem. The adhesive's plenty. Now on the parting beads, when you measure the parting beads, you want to measure them from the header all the way down and follow the channel and you'll get the true size you need. So if you come from here all the way down to there and it says 44 and a half, you make it 44 and three quarters so it can push it, you can push it right up on here and it'll catch here. If it catches there and you put a screw down at the bottom, okay, that's the only place it has to be fastened. If it's a little loose, that's fine. Uh, sometimes windows get really tight when they have the weather stripping on them. And what I tell people, there's a product called liquid gold. It's like a furniture polish. If you just spray the sides, you don't want to do it with WD-40, that's the metal. Either that or they have, um, um, they have different sprays you can use, but liquid gold is the best. Like yeah, you, like a furniture polish. You can even use pledge. And you spray the sides, the windows will fly up and down. That's all you really need to do when it gets really hot and humid in the summertime. Because if you make them so that they're loose, you know, <clears throat> loose enough in the summertime, then in the winter when it contracts, then they'll be way too loose, you know. So that's how you would measure your beads. And of course, these pop right back in again. On your eyes, you, basically, when you put it in, you'd always put your top in first and then come down. And sometimes you have to work around that thing there so you get the bottom in. And then that just works back in again like that.